Welcome to the improved Euler's method in Excel. So um, as you can see, we have a few more columns going on here than we had previously. X, I, Y, I, we've seen before. We will have our initial slope, then X, I, 2, Y, I, 2 will automatically calculate uh, the sort of initial approximation for the next steps y value. Um, and then k2 will be that slope, k will be the average. So these are all the things we need. Um, the equations are already written in for anything that is not in bold or in red. So your job is to fix the things that are in red. So let's go ahead and look at the same uh, equation we've looked at before. So once again, uh, we will use IVP y prime is equal to negative 2y plus 3x squared times e to the negative 2x with y of 0 equaling 2. So this is the same equation we've looked at before. Um, let's go ahead and approximate y of 0 0.5, just like we did with Euler's method. So once again, we need to put in our initial conditions. So xi, the first one should be 0. The initial condition for y is 2. We now need to enter the equation. So we will use uh, the b column as our y and the uh, a column as our x. So this is negative 2 times y plus this part here should be three times a12 squared. And then we have times the exponential function e to the, uh, and then in parentheses, we should have negative two times our x. So notice here, I'm being very careful. You have to put multiplication signs for any multiplication that needs to be done, even between a number and a variable. Uh, Excel won't know what to do otherwise. So here we're going to hit equal. We are going to do the same thing. Uh, okay. uh, we're going to do the same thing over here. Uh, this time around, we will use D and E for our X and Y columns. So we should have negative two times Y, which we do have. Then we should have plus three times X squared times the exponential function with our exponent negative two times x. Hit enter. That will automatically update. Um, right now, it doesn't know what to do with our x, i, y, i, two. That will fix in a little bit. So next thing we need to do, we need to put in our step. So we will say we want the previous x value plus our step. Let's go ahead and start with a step of 0 0.1. And then for our y value, we need to put in our actual equation. So we start off with the previous y value. Then we add on our slope times. And then let's do the current x value minus the previous x value. You can also enter your slope here. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is that when I change my step, I will not have to worry about it here. So you're welcome to just type the step and change it twice uh, anytime you change the step, or you can do second x minus first, and that'll take care of it. At this point, we just need to extend all our columns. So let's go ahead and extend, extend, extend. Um, you're welcome. I believe you can actually highlight all of the rows at once or columns at once if you want and extend that way. I'm just used to doing them one column at a time. So again, once we do that last column, suddenly it updates everything. So we just saw um, that we have for step 0.1. We have that y of 0 0.5 is approximately, sorry, I can't do the approximately sign here, um, is approximately 0 
zero dot dot dot. So that's already a major improvement from what we have done before. Let's go ahead and do um, now for step 0 0.05 and again approximate y of 0 0.5. So to do this, we now need to simply change our step. So we go back to that second x. We're going to do 0 0.05 for our step. And then remember to drag that box. Um, and we'll have to extend the rest. So I'm going to see what happens if I just highlight all of them and extend down. So here we have our new. Uh, value, we get uh, 0 0.783, 0 0.7832. And then let's go ahead and do first step 0 0.01, and then approximately y of 0 0.5. So here we're going to once again change our step. So we should change that to a plus 0 0.01. And then we have to go through and edit. Um, let's extend our x's uh, farther than needed. And then highlight our whole bottom row and we can extend. And here we get our uh, y of 0 0.5 as 0 0.7817 dot dot dot. Now, if we look back at what we had gotten previously, uh, we previously saw um, that the exact value is 0 0.7817 dot dot dot. So we match at least four decimal places um, now, uh, which we did not have previously. But even with just going step 0 0.1, we already matched two decimal places. So this is a major improvement on Euler's method.